Good evening, I'm Holden Absher. Monroe County confirmed 100 new COVID-19 cases Wednesday, the highest daily total since January. The county remains in the orange advisory level as its weekly cases per 100,000 dropped to 211 from 279 last week. In District 8, hospitalizations increased to 132 on Wednesday. The state confirmed 4,813 new cases, bringing the total since the pandemic began to more than 1.2 million. Despite COVID-19 surges, state government leaders are preparing to end the public health emergency. However, the governor insists many of the state's resources will stay in place. We have mobile teams out right now. We have strike teams out right now. We've got uh, Department of Health. We've got the Indiana National Guard. We've got hospitals, private sector hospitals coming back in and saying we need more help. Holcomb already laid out three changes lawmakers need to make to ensure the state won't lose federal funding, and those lawmakers are expected to act in January. Long after the brood X cicadas disappeared, the small burrow holes they left behind are still having an impact on the soil. Researchers say those holes can prevent runoff in natural environments like forests. If you can have higher infiltration rates into the soil, then less water typically is going to be, um, you know, just going off the surface. But in areas that have more human activity, like city parks, the cicada burrows didn't make as much of a difference because the soil is so compact. And now for a look at the weather. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low of 44 degrees. Looking at the five-day forecast, cloudy and 59 on Friday, a chance of showers on Christmas. For more local news, go to WTIUNews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6. Have a good night.